Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Jeff. Uh, today we're actually going to talk about radiographs or x-rays, uh, MRIs and CAT scans. Quite often I get people coming in and saying, oh, do an MRI on this? Should I get a CAT scan on this? Should I get an, an x-ray? What do I need? Uh, so I thought we'd clarify today what they do and what they're for. An x-ray, or we call plain film as it used to be called, is a beam of uh, photons they, they fire through you. And what happens with these beam of photons? They go through you and depending on what tissue they go through, uh, more gets absorbed in your body and less gets to the, the film, or today it's actually a receiver that takes it so you can put it on a computer. So if it's going through water, going through air, it's going to be very black. If it's going through metal, it's going to be very white because metal will absorb a lot of the photons. You know, going through bone, it'll be kind of white, gray. So when you read an x-ray, you're looking at the, the shades between you know, black, white, and gray to see what's there. An x-ray is, is good because it's very low cost. It doesn't take a, much to uh, take an x-ray. Time-wise, it's very easy to take an x-ray. <clears throat> so, x-rays are used all the time. The problem with an x-ray is one, it's the radiation. As it goes through you, these photons may cause how we call free radicals. These free radicals can go on down the road and possibly cause some cancer. The other thing is an x-ray is not very uh, sensitive. So, 40% of the time on an x-ray, you're not going to see what you want to see. So, it's not that accurate. So, you want to be more accurate, you go to something called a, a CT scan or a computerized tomography or a CAT scan, as some people call it. What this is, it's very similar to an x-ray that we're actually shooting a uh, photons through you, but now you're in a tunnel and it's kind of swirling around you, it's kind of going through you and slicing you up like you slice bread. This information is then sent to a computer and the computer puts it together and creates a 3D image, unlike a, a radiography which is a, a one-dimensional a one image. This actually, you can actually see the shape of the uh, organ, you can see the depth between the front and the back, you can see where things are uh, much better than you'll see with a, a radiograph. Right, the problem with an x-ray is an x-ray is lots of radiation. So lots of chance for free radicals to form, so much greater chance of these free radicals going down the road and developing into cancer. So that's one thing you have to worry about with uh, computerized the tomography or a CT scan. And you only allow so much uh, radiation in your lifetime, so you kind of have to monitor how much you're getting at different times. Right? Some people might have a sensitivity because before they take the CAT scan, sometimes they'll introduce a medium into you through an IV or, or you have to drink something. And this will highlight that area they want to look at a little better, and some people may have a little sensitive, sensitivity to that. Next thing we want to talk about is MRI, or it stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. And what this does is there's no radiation with MRI, so it's really good. What happens with MRI, it uses the, the natural positive and negative charges of your body to, uh, to create the image. So they, they put you in a tube, very similar to a CAT scan, they introduce the, the, the magnets, they cause these positive and negative charges, it's very excited. They then shoot in a radio current. This radio current, very similar to an ultrasound, creates a, an image. The image is then sent to a computer that creates a 3D image, very similar to a CT scan, um, to have a look at your tissues and your organs. Uh, MRI is very good. The only problem with MRI is that if you have any metal in you, because it's using magnets, it's going to yank that metal out of you. So quite often with an MRI, they'll send you for an x-ray first to see if there's any metal inside you uh, to make sure it's safe to have an MRI. Otherwise, you'd have to go and have a CAT scan. And same as a CAT scan, quite often they'll introduce a medium into you uh, to have a look at the different uh, tissues. Uh, a little bit better, and some people may have a sensitivity to, uh, to that. Now, why would you get a CAT scan over an MRI? Well, MRI is very good at looking at your tendons, your ligaments, or so Achilles tendonitis, or, or, uh, or I like it for people going, uh, thinking of going on the spinal decompression machine because it picks up the spinal cord really well. A CAT scan is better looking at your lungs, it's looking at your organs. So if you're looking for cancer or, or organic dysfunction, a CAT scan might be, be a bit better. Looking at your brain except for an infarction, which is better with an MRI, your brain's better with a CAT scan. So depending on what you want to look for, uh, you get one or the other. And it, again, it depends on the safety of getting an MRI done uh, and getting the CAT scan done. Okay. That's up to your doctor's side. So when you see your doctor, he'll decide whether or not an uh, X-ray or an MRI or a CAT scan would be best for you to come up with your, your diagnosis. If you have any questions about an MRI, uh, CT scan, or a, a plain film x-ray, always feel free to email me at jgoldsworthy at goldswithywellness.com. I'm Dr. Jeff. I've got your back.